As such, we recently heard that Alpha's revival of the compact Julieta nameplate remains a distinct possibility because the company is on a great path toward improved profitability, so it's not excluded by the CEO to seek a return in the hatchback segment, probably complete with a hot hatch, of course, the Italian luxury brand should also take care of its current models, the Giulia sedan, Stelvio crossover SUV, or the new Tunnel CUV. We shouldn't count the 33 straight ale here, as that one is a one-time 33-unit affair designed to stir passion in the soul of automotive enthusiasts and car collectors. Anyway, the ultra-limited supercar is already sold out, so we can always go back to regular business to see what's new from Alfa Romeo. Well, this month, we only caught wind about the new Giulia and Stelvio Quadrifoglio Carbon Editions that join the 2024 model year roster to look menacingly cool, speaking of carbon, the rumor mill is also interested in knowing what the next Giulia sedan will look like. And the imaginative realm of digital car content creators is always ready and willing to oblige. For example, let us meet Tommaso D'Amico, an Italian digital creator who loves everything Italian and also cars. So, his work on the next generation Giulia is not exactly a surprise, right? However, this unofficial design project is not going to be everyone's cup of tea for sure. While it keeps the classic triangular badge front and center. The ultra-slim headlight treatment and steeply racked engine hood won't be to everyone's liking, for sure. On the other hand, this design would totally stand out in any crowd if Alfa Romeo noticed it and inspired them to rework the next iteration, allegedly going completely electric, like this. Interestingly, it seems the virtual artist designed his unofficial Giulia with both possibilities in mind, an IC-powered Giulia, presumably the Quattrofoglio, with round exhaust outlets and lots of carbon fiber, the green car, while the other colors, blue, yellow, etc., apparently don't have anything else but battery power under the CGI skin. Speaking of things that aren't usually seen from the outside, the Pixel Master also went through the trouble of envisioning a potential cabin design for the Julia project, overall, it's not a bad attempt at securing an exotic future for the Alfa Romeo Julia sedan. If you like his Italian cars, note that we also embedded his vision of the reborn Fiat Chroma GT, a nameplate that lived two different lifestyles, one as a liftback between 1985 and 1996 and the other as a big crossover between an MPV and a traditional station wagon from 2005 to 2010.